Well, the main the main reason we, we looked at a tool like this was um, being in the healthcare business, we do a lot of compliance checks. And um, before getting a tool like this, we've, we've had to get people to come in once a year to do a compliance um, check, which is obviously a spot check. You know, it's a once in time, a, a once in time check, and it doesn't really give you a true reflection of whether you're compliant or not. And it's almost doing compliance for the sake of doing compliance, whereas having a tool that gives you um, constant visibility of your environment, uh, my thought was a lot better for us in being able to um, uh, judge whether we were compliant or not. So another advantage of um, the way we have this uh, deployed is, is a cloud-based instance, and so very little in terms of load on our network, um, no infrastructure required, and so we, we have all of our environments pointing to this um, to the Kaverin platform and that's able to scan based on our IP ranges and provide the reports that we, we require. I think the main advantage was, um, as far as I know, it was the only solution in the market that was able to do compliance reporting based on the various standards that we wanted. Um, a lot of the other solutions are no more than a patch management solution. You know, they tell you whether you're compliant or not based on recommendations by the vendor. Whereas with Kaverin, you get the vendor recommendation as well. But in addition to that, you get the blueprints from the various standards. So you get High Trust, PCI, HIPAA, High Tech, and um, NIST, and a bunch of others. And so I'm able to look at a portion of my network and see whether I'm HIPAA compliant or not, rather than just general security best practice compliance that a lot of the other tools give me. Um, the market is interesting, it's growing. Um, certainly a lot of new players this year, um, lots of exciting uh, vendors. I think the one thing I'll say is a lot of them are looking at point solutions, so everyone is going down a particular rabbit hole, you know, whether that be identity management or threat management, um, authentication services, and the concern I have is that we're still going to see many more years of having several agents on endpoints and especially in today's world of BYOD uh, when a lot of people are bringing their own devices I'm not sure what the reception would be to having so many more agents on, on, on people's personal um, computing devices so I'd like to see a little bit more in terms of consolidation of tools together rather than uh, a lot of point based solutions that are out in the market today uh, but very good. Uh, so many different players. Um, how long they're going to be around for, obviously, it's, it's um, up for debate, but it's good to see the marketplace. Um, lots of new entry and uh, new challenges, um, I think.